Hey guys, Angie here, and today we have a subpar guide to Huang Renjun. Huang, Huang Renjun? Huang Renjun. I tried. So I skipped this one on accident. Like, I don't know how I never, I just, it didn't pop up. Like, all the other guides kind of like popped up and I was like, oh, okay, let me just add that in because I watched the previous ones and you know, the algorithm is supposed to work that way. But for some reason, Renjun's never popped up. Um, so we kind of accidentally skipped him, but we're back. I love Renjun, so I don't know. <laughs> kind of upset that this didn't pop up, but it's okay, you know? Fine, we'll, we'll watch it now. So let's jump into it. Hello, friends. Hello. We're back and better than ever with our single member guide series. And today we'll be talking about my boy Huang Renjun. Huang Renjun. Hello. Rin Jun is another member who falls on the younger end of NCT members, being born in 2000. Ah, oh, baby. He is Chinese. From the Jilin province of China, which shares a border with North Korea. There are a lot of Korean minorities living in the province, so Rin Jun grew up learning both Chinese and Korean. Ah. Makes sense. See, that's why I'm like confused on why he isn't in Wavy and why like Chenla isn't in Wavy. Like, are they gonna go to Wavy eventually or is Wavy just Wavy? And like, because people are saying they're not in Wavy because they were under age, basically, and like they didn't want them in multiple groups. But then Mark, Mark was underage and he was in three, so I'm just like, mm, confused. Me though. I've been to me whenever people mention a city that I've been to. When June entered oh. SM after passing the global audition in 2015. <laughs> oh, it's my box. For less than a year before debuting with NCT Dream on their single, Chewing Gum, in August 2016. He really is a legend. Rin Jun is part of NCT's vocal line. Mm hmm. Sweetest vocals. And I have one more album of NCT Dream I need to check out. I think it's one more. I have it saved. Oh, the gentleness in his voice. Oh, I'm all tingly. I know. We need more NCT Dream like performances. What was that noise? It's kind of funny that he's in the vocal line because he has mentioned that he was cast while dancing. So let's all just appreciate his underrated Well, moves. you can't just dance in a group. You have to sing or rap, so... <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute like because a lot of the members mentioned they like looked up to exo and now nct and exo kind of have like a group together so it's like that's so cute even though it's none of the members that mention it usually but Mm-hmm. 
23rd of March, 2000, which makes him an Aries. When June is a really curious soul, he likes to think about things that others might not. I, yeah, that's why I fell in love with him because of this like segment. Like, I just love his mind. We love a conspiracy theorist. It's like he's like Loki, one of my favorites in the Dreamies. <laughs> I mean, I never thought about that, but I'm with, I'm with him. I understand his concept here. I just, oh, I just, I want, I just want to be his friend. Like, none of my friends, friends, like the two that I have that I don't even talk to them much. <laughs> don't one is very religious but like also gay so she's like religious but like she she's one of the like she's in the lgbt community but she's religious so she like doesn't believe like being gay is wrong obviously but like she believes in god and stuff which is fine but that sucks because like i'm like very alien-esque and theorizing and Stuff like that, so we don't talk about that stuff, sadly. And then my other friend is just boring, and she like likes aliens, but she doesn't like to like talk about the like. I don't know. I just I need friends that are like run <laughs> I and he seems to be in that group too, where he, like the other boys will like talk to him a little bit, but like once it gets too deep, they probably just get bored of it. Yeah, but they, only them do. I feel like Jisung's like interested. So at least he has Jisung. Can't relate. I don't have Jisung. Rin Jun enjoys art, and he really oh. likes a hobby. Be my friend, Rin Jun. I hit me up. I'm not interested in paintings though. I just like to do drawings. Used to. I don't do it anymore. I was just watching this video. <laughs> I was just watching that video, like the full video, because it was recommended for some reason. his neck <laughs> that's like so sweet but i'll probably like in real life be annoyed by it <laughs> oh what if i this guy's name harvey even though Rinjun is originally an NCT Dreams No Fun trio, he's actually super funny and witty. I think everyone like in a no fun label, like labels no fun are actually really fun. The movie that makes me not fun if I think they're really fun. <laughs> I just like his humor. Yeah, it's Rinjun. <laughs> Poor baby. 
The song is that. You were waiting for my just neighbor. Purpose? I gave you back. Yeah, purpose. I was I heard that first freaking thing and I knew it. <laughs> when June gets teased by the dreamies very regularly, they definitely He's... tease him most often about his infamous voice crack. After their first oh, week, I... as well as the nickname they gave him, Shoulder Gangster. Shoulder Gangster. Oh no. Oh my poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> they literally cannot mock him. They've all been there. Oh. I thought that was really him for a second. Does he have broad shoulders? Like, I don't think his shoulders. I never noticed them. But then again, I don't know his shoulders much. <laughs> they have the lamest jokes and I love it. Oh. That blue hair though. What the? But <laughs> Jim can definitely hold his own when it comes to the savagery of the moments. Clowning his members whenever he gets the chance. Especially Jino. I could never actually use JSMR to fall asleep because his videos always have some stupid, like, funny thing in it, so... Oh, baby Lucas. Trudeau. Seriousness, Renjun is seriously the sweetest, kindest boy in the world, and that's a rock fact. He's an actual child. I want to break. Oh my god, he. Please don't. <laughs> oh, purest baby. Oh, poor thing. 
衣服一定要架这种类型的东西，会缝衣服，会做饭。It's so cute when they speak Chinese. <laughs> it looks like he does a lot. Me though, every day. <laughs> Completely understandable, sweetie. Mama, that's so cute. I don't believe that, but it's okay. I'll still love you. <laughs> I feel like with his mother, I'm just like, no, sweetie, I must protect at all times. I know you're not okay always. <laughs> well, that's all I've got for our not so pure, pure boy, Renju. <laughs> and not super cool cool boy. Much more than just the savage member of NCT3. I don't even My see him as a savage member. Loki, I feel like maybe like Chenna is a savage member. <laughs> I always just saw Renjun as like the quiet, not quiet, but like the head in the books type guy. You know, like always thinking and stuff. I don't know how to describe it. Just a really smart one to be honest thought-provoking guy Oof. so anyways Renjun is kind of like that member who I feel like I don't acknowledge that much but like low-key I really do adore him I think I, he's the one member of NCT I feel like I relate to the most like NCT as a whole like out of every member including Wavy I feel like the one I would want to be friends with most is probably Renjun and like Lucas like those two like not even like Renjun's probably not even my bias but like I feel like I'd be like his best friend. Like I want to be friends with him. Like this made me want to be friends with him even more. Yeah, <laughs> he's adorable. He's sweet. He's smart. He's funny. He's thought provoking. He's talented, beautiful. He's the package. He is all. <laughs> but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know if Renjun is your bias down below. And bye.